What's up guys, WW Gaming here, uh, bringing you a playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. As you guys know, I have done The Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 on this channel, but I've never got the chance to play The Wolf Among Us, and uh, I tried my best not to know any of the story, and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know anything about this game except that I'm the fucking wolf, I guess. The, you know, the big bad wolf. Um, but yeah, that's all I know is that these are like, you know, fantasy creatures, monsters, or whatever type uh, type thing. Um, so yeah, I've never played this game, never, you know, never got into any of the story. So let's start now, actually. Making my first file. Let's see, start episode one. Do it. Hopefully there's no lagging. If there's, if it starts to lag, I'll change the resolution, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it will. I mean, the resolution I'm playing on is 800 by six, uh, 800 by 600, <laughs> just so that I have the maximum, uh, what you call it, speed I I can. But as you guys saw, it doesn't look that bad anyway. So, yeah, I mean, I have uh, anti-aliasing on, I have uh, graphics on high and everything. So, yeah, hopefully it'll fucking load up soon. The fuck's your problem loading? See, this is why I sometimes like recording on Windows mode instead, using Bandicam as a, a box instead of actually uh, recording in-game, because when shit like this happens where it takes a long time to load and doesn't seem to do anything, it sometimes ends my recording and makes a second part uh, on its own. So, yeah, that, this is why I like recording on lower resolutions, but at the same time, windowed mode. Makes it easier. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community fa a fairy tale cr uh, characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there are, uh, arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community by the mu from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other, and that would be me. I guess I'm a I'm a detective or some shit. The Wolf Among Us. I heard a lot of good things about this game. So I can't wait to witness it. Come on. Come on. I <laughs> don't know why I did that. <laughs> Fucking birds, quit squawking. Mr. Toad? Shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what all the damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Um... Come on, Big B. Say something. Don't you stop to scare me. <laughs> I didn't know what to say up to, up to that. Look, human. You're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! 
See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place. Thanks for that, Bigby. You're a real gentleman. This is the last straw, Bigby. He has to go. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Well, we're finally heading our ass, or getting our ass up there. No book of fables entry unlocked. Fucking prick job, shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Someone's hostile. <laughs> Oops. All right, so what's the first thing we do? We go up to smack the shite, huh? Is that what we do? We smack the shite out of the prick? Or should I say golf shit? Golf shite, whatever the fuck he said. Let's fucking do it. Something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> you fucker! All right, <laughs> you. Oh shit! Okay. You wanna fight, what big boy? Fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. This is your last warning. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You've got a shit fucking memory, Bolt. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Bitch! I warned you! Oh my god. Okay. Let's do it! That's right. Oh shit, bad idea. I'm a savior. <laughs> you ain't saving nobody. Boom, bitch! Get out the way. <laughs> You're going on that thing, motherfucker. Let's go. Put you to bed. That's right, in the nuts. Is this how it went last time, asshole? <laughs> Okay, what's next? Uh, let's put you to sleep. Not enough. Oh god damn it! I'm trying to be nice by putting you on the couch. Fucking challenge. You want a fucking challenge? Where's my mouse? Okay, there it is. Here's your fucking challenge for your dickweed. Break your fucking leg! You said it makes this a challenge. Well, where's the challenge, bruh? Where's the challenge? Oh, what? Are you Gimli now? This motherfucker's Gimli! Who are you trying to kill? What? Oh, shit. Q. Q. I didn't know that was a button. I didn't know that was an option. God damn it. Are you serious? I fucked up once. Okay. Replay from checkpoint. Whatever. Do that shite again. Sometimes I gotta do that whole thing over again. It was fun till that happened. 
Oh Jesus, that was that was that was fun. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Shit was going down. <laughs> well, here we go. Wait, wait, wait! Let me scratch my balls. No. Probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting sick, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Do you hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. You bad Fuck turd. Ha ha ha. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girlie. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. I don't know why I'm even asking. Okay, I guess it was obvious. Um, why was, why he, was hitting? he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will. I ask you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Oh my god. Did I choose the wrong one? Maybe I should have just thrown him out. I didn't expect I'd throw myself out. I mean, what the fuck? I didn't think it was gonna be the, um, that crazy. Holy shit. Pretty intense shit. Let's get to it, damn it. My fucking car! Hey, Tony. My car. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. Can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. when you help. Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Ah, oh, shit! Why couldn't you be fucking dead? <laughs> dead. You're fucking with the wrong dude, motherfucker. Oh, shit! I'm still clicking it, damn it! You want me to come out, bitch?
I should say, uh, thanks, I guess. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. I'm not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Here you go, Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> if that's really who you are. <laughs> who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Oops. Fucking A, dude. I don't know if, you, if Bandicam is catching that, but like the... Because when those shows, like when you have a, your mouse on an icon, it pops up showing what it is. Like Chrome or some shit in the background, so... Stop. Yeah, you don't keep have fucking to doing that. any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Uh, he hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. Does that mean she's quitting or she's going to die? How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it would be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got uh, it's 20, it's 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Don't, no. don't <laughs> feel really safe now, do I? I don't think I had any time to freaking answer. Hey. I need to tell you something. I want your dick. <laughs>
see you around. Wolf. Who would have thought she's into furries? <laughs> Rumor guard. Okay. Well, that was pretty fun. How much more is there? I know usually in these Telltale games, each episode's about an hour to an hour and a half, so... Yeah, 20 minutes, well, 21 minutes now into it. Video files frickin' 600 megabytes already. Directed by Nick Herman and Dennis Lenart. I like the cinematography for this game so far. It's very stylish. Load, bitch, load! I ain't got time for this. Here we go. Don't mind me, I'm just fucking yawning back here. <laughs> oh, I can walk, okay. <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't expect that. Um... Cause it ain't no luxury. <laughs> yeah, going up to the door. Is there any way? Yes, I could speed it up. Okay, let's do this. Who the fuck? You're oh. still standing there, aren't you? I clicked an option, but I was too late, I guess. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. Uh, look, if you don't have anything to say... Oh my I'm god, I try to click something, but I'm always too late for it. The fuck? I was trying to say something, but I was too fucking late. Come on, give me a choice again. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Promise me. Oh, God! Jesus Christ! I keep not responding. I'm trying to choose, but I don't know what to choose. I will explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. I wish I wasn't timed so quickly on these fucking things, dude. I need time to decide what I'm gonna do. It's not what you might be thinking. Oh, really? It's not, huh? You're not fucking somebody. Poor beast, bruh. Poor beast. Bell! Bella! <laughs> nope, not Bella. Fuck you, Twilight. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on, fuck it, eh? Another loading screen. 
Dude, I hope I can make my choices quicker because I keep fucking not responding and it's not because I don't want to respond, it's because I, I, I'm just trying to decide on a fucking choice. Yep. Day in a row. Make it fall apart. Well, that's some dusty shit. Well, we know we're in 204, right? So, can we use the... Okay. Well, just before that, let's see what's over here. Fucking hands are bruised. Gotta love the attention to detail. Cause my hands are bruised after that fight. Big B. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Oh my so, god. Have you? This time I'm not responding. <laughs> oh god. I don't know what to do, man. They're making me choose choices. And this one I didn't want to answer because it's like, oh shit, she didn't want me to say something, but maybe I should. Oh god. Maybe I should have. I don't. I, <laughs> I gotta love the choices games like this gave me, man. Oh, so far, I'm a quiet fucking guy, man. Yeah, it looks luxurious. The entire apartment. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess we can see what we got to eat. Alright, let's see what's in the freezer. Fucking ice cubes. For real, we don't even have ice cubes. Don't even got one ice cube. What will you like damn it for? Go fill that shit up and then put it in and then you'll have some ice cubes. What the shit? Who the fuck is this? Why is there a fucking pig on my chair? Hey, Colin, get up. <sighs> Not again. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So yeah. Bet that thing smell. smells like pig now. One of the three little piglets, Thanks. piggies. <laughs> Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you own. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. 
the fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. That was all you were saying I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the verbal. But, huh. uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. You can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. Sometimes I take them. Fuck you. I didn't say that. Jesus Christ. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look. Give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. You are a dick, pig. Thanks, Big B. Ew. <laughs> well, what do you expect a pig to drink like? Jesus Christ, I just want to sleep. <laughs> I just want to sleep, you bitch. See, I knew you were calling to come to my apartment, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow White? Why ain't she singing or having little wild animals around her? No. <laughs> what? Oh wait. Sorry, I'm. What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Oh my God. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah. He 
These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. What happened? Someone got killed? Oh shit, it was probably the girl because she didn't come to my apartment. It, was, it ended up being her. She probably got killed last night. Because it seems like it's going to be one of those gritty games where there's, there is murder and cases and shit, you know what I mean? Toad? No, security. Evening, morning, it's still fucking night. Oh, shit. I knew it. You... You this girl? Is... She's not a Monday, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fake Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. She was a prostitute. Really? Never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this, but didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. What the fuck happened, man? Her ribbon. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? To her. Oh my god, you dude. You do something like that. It was something very sharp. Something with magic attached to it. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. What do you want to do next? Find out who the hell did it? We still have some time. We should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe.
He's leaving a trail. Something's in the trash. There was blood over the thing. But there's blood on the railing. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still red. Sharp enough. Okay, well, let's see what's on the other side now. Well, I wasn't expecting someone to be there. I was expecting to see something like behind them with the body. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Oh shit. Freaking uh it's raining. We should Move her. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure Shit, I missed what they were saying. Big B, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? I heard it's a message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to talk to Green about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of him. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Sure thing, sweetie. I knew she was gonna be dead though. I mean, whoever did it is, uh, I would think, the, uh, I, I would think it's the person that uh, pretty much owns her. You know, she's the prostitute, the person she works for. You know, so it's, it's probably them. But, who knows. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Ha <laughs> ha. Fucker. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Because you were the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. Oh, I wanted really? this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. 
Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Oh, fuck you. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. I was gonna say, fuck you, man. You would have just pissed him off more. Alright. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> what an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Who the fuck? Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Ah! He's been drinking the wine. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Not great. Hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Yeah, not your fault. Thanks for asking, man. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. So that monkey is from uh, Wizard of Oz. This, I'm guessing, is fucking Aladdin bullshit. Agrabah! Ha! <laughs> it is! A reverence to fucking Aladdin. Um. <laughs> Mia, Mia, on the wall. Am I the one with the biggest dick of them all? Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history. Mirror, mirror, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, is that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until we... Do, I can't help you. How about Woodsman? Show me the Woodsman. 
Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. Oh shit, which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Yeah. Show me the woodsman. Okay. Something different happens every time, right? No. Okay, then I guess I'll be leaving. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Stupid monkey. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Well, who is it? Let's see. Oops, wait, wait, wait. am I clicking the right buttons? Oh, I'm stuck, okay. I was about to say, thought I had the wrong buns for a second. Where the fuck is everybody? We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. The woodsman? You're getting warmer, but that's me. King Arthur? I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes. It's the, the, ring. the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I still want to see the other ones, though. I haven't seen Banjo. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, <laughs> maybe it's time that changed. Okay, well, let's go check out this book now. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Fucking translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the... Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Here it is. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alerlairo. 
means every kind of fur injury. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. Oh, God. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. My name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than me. was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? This sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. It could be, but still it's something to go on, so... Might as well see. Let's ask the mirror on the wall. Or it's not even on the wall, it's... Just fucking on the stand. <laughs> mirror on the stand! Can you give me another chance? Mirror, mirror, blah blah Abel, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Faith. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Well, he did. That crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince... Probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Oh, well, it's just definitely been going Anything down. We can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Thing is, though, the knife's full of blood, but doesn't mean he did it. He could be dead himself because we didn't see his head. His neck could have been cut or something. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Doug. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. What's going on? What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I can not really tell. But he could be in trouble. We should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. That would be a bad idea because he's probably going to die now. Oh, son of a bitch. This episode should almost be done. I'm guessing by the time when we get to the apartment or whatever, 
That's when it'll be like a cliffhanger. We'll figure out what the fuck's happening. Prince Lawrence is probably dead. The bloody knife. Someone could have killed him. It didn't show his head or anything, like I said. Come on, load up. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Shit. Okay, let's go to Toad's apartment because he might be able to still live. Toad's I could probably save him. Help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Who's going through the woodsman's crap? Why the fuck was her name Donkey Skin? What the shit? Askin, Donkey Skin, what kind of crap? That's no real fairy tale. Load up, you bitch. Shit. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah, looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? I was trying to. I was. I didn't even get to read all the options. Wait here. Better to keep quiet so he doesn't know anyone's watching him. Get the fuck out. See what's going on. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bog, huh? You called me, dickweed. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. No, there was someone else up there. False alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little tongue. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? 
longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, that's all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Oh, yeah, he's up to something. <sighs> Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? You didn't even have it plugged in. You tried to hit him with it. It wasn't even plugged in. It wasn't even for here. You are one lying piece of shit. Fucking blood now. Bleeding. Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some old furniture loose. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I don't know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. So, if it wasn't the kid you were trying to hit, it was somebody else, because there was no blood on the kid. Jeez, you are a bad liar. Here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, let's. That's how it happened, didn't it? I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. You just if said your hand. Say something out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. You're a bad liar, sir. Very bad liar. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime for a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Todd. Looks like after a struggle, a fight, I don't know why you cover for it. I know you're lying about something, but I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. He's most definitely bullshitting. So let's open the window. See. What's going on? Yeah? What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the window, sir. What's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Let's see, what's... Anything else around here? Check out the busted latch. Huh? 
lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Well, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Bloody hell, Big B. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? Well, the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. It's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fuck you now. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Walk right through you. Yep, that's how you do it. I don't think there is anything else now. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Why'd it go all the way back there? Hold on. There's something up there. What the shit? It's telling me there's something up there. Why aren't I looking? Okay, what kind of shit is that? I mean, you can see that, right? You know, you mean, there's, there's shit up there. Don't know why I can't fucking see it. I'll fucking point my damn thing all the way up here. What the shit's going on? Alright, fuck it. Nothing's working. I don't know if I should talk to Toad. I should probably get that thing fixed. Now, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his lad for a bit? This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. You sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. Okay, maybe some maybe the freaking kid will tell me something. Ah, Come clean. You want me out of here? I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Jeez, man, you're fucking terrible. Okay, time to ask the kid. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. The kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset you earlier. He won't say why. He... Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to get tough, bitch. I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm gonna get tough on your ass. Getting tough. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. We poison the other room, Big B. Come on, now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Can't we just start over? What is it, mate? Come clean. Just tell me what's going on. Oh, man, dude, you want to get hit? Now, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his last My bit? God. This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. Sleep in your smashed up cars, glove. What the fuck just happened? 
Oh, my bad. Okay. Sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. Yeah, I was clicking ESC uh, to see if I could skip the cutscene because we already saw that shit, you know what I mean? Alright, that. Oh, wait, 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 there's a table. What's up with the table? Move something? What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a pulp, it's a pulp. Big B with a door window. What you want? It's the lamp, asshole! Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Tug. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Big V. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bagger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean... I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. Then, when you start telling me the truth, Toad... Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad. He is bleeding. bleeding. Take off the hat. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You've got to strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Eh? Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I'll tell you that. You know where the tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, or was going there, but he said something about it. Oh shit. I would have told him. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh Sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here and astonish you, mate. You'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. The fur. It's what changes her identity to make her look ugly, right? The donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear that. So. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course it is. In my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. All right, I'm gonna open it. I'm curious to what it says, even if it is the bad decision. Faith. 
What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. Maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Well, shit went down. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I like that it actually makes you feel like a detective when you catch someone in the lie. Seriously. I'm glad I didn't uh, hit the toad because I found all the all the evidence and shit. So that was pretty cool. Fun. Just don't get why I couldn't click the ceiling. That was the only thing. That was a random option that didn't work. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to. So let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for him. And if he objects? We are here on official Fabletown business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or, you can. It'll be persuasive, knocking his fucking brains on the floor. Let's do it. Fucking things into my way. Get out of my god damn it! <laughs> Let's get in here. Jesus, this video is as long as a movie. Let's just knock, I guess. Can you hear me? Up. Nope, let's go inside. Oh shit. Smells like blood. Or a dead body, right? Stinks. Lawrence was killed before, which is why the the knife had blood. Yeah. Another fable. Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with No. Him. No. Water. Kitchen. Which way to the kitchen? Oh, okay. This is my question. Come on, we know he's gonna die. It's not like he's gonna give us the answer of who killed him. Now why? And how? Probably uh, before she was killed, if that's the case. Maybe she was threatened, but then killed anyways. Do you still have that letter? It's only two words. He died without seeing them. Sorry. We 
need to figure out what happened here. Find whoever did this. Well, I guess we'll be looking around then. Holy shit, this episode's an hour and a half, man. Holy crap. Okay, we got the knife. Sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. The thing is, it doesn't match his head. His head wound. It's like, it's not, it's like a blunt weapon hit him. Why would someone want to kill him? Probably the same reason they wanted to kill Faith. But we don't know what that is yet. I, it doesn't look like he was stabbed in the head though. Probably in the stomach. Because he has blood on his shirt. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Why would that be? Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Prince Lawrence wasn't so fucking happy with himself. <laughs> Can you tell? That doesn't really help. I don't think there's anything else so far. We'll back out. What's over here? More blood? Footprints, right? Is that what that is? Strange. Hard edge to this pool. Like something was here and got moved. Ah, okay. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can see it now. It looks like an edge. Door. Oh, the bed. It's one of those pull-out mattresses. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Jeez. Is that so? Well, Never would have guessed. Chair. Yeah. The angle works if he shot himself. Which I guess would make sense if he shot himself in the head, which is that wound on his head. And he is a fable, so it probably, even though he's a human a, a version of a fable, maybe he can still live long enough? So I, I don't know how this whole fable thing works, but... Actually, let's click the hand. Should we pull it out? Okay. Let's look at the note on the fridge first, though. There was a note there. Pay the rent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. She wouldn't have done this then. She was leaving a note to say don't look for me and shit, so... There wouldn't be... Why would she come back to kill him? That's probably why he has the sleeping meds. He can't sleep when she was gone. Probably upset. Okay, we'll put our hands on it. Let's go. Yeah. Covered in fucking blood. Now what happened here? What is that? Another note. Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully, they're together now. I don't know what we can hope for at this point.
Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Anything important, though? Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Let's check out what's in the closet. Oh, shit! Okay. Stay here. No! That actually got me for a second. I don't. I didn't expect someone just to pop out. Come here, Tweedledee, fuck! Come on, load. This episode's gone on long enough. Fucking long ass episode. Holy shit! The video is about to go on hey, to three gigabytes. Stop. Come on. Whoa, this guy can jump. Oh, and I cannot. Yeah, bitch! Calabonga! <laughs> Got you, you fuck. He's up, Bippy. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks. But I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. That's bullshit, because the gun hasn't been fired for over a week. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. Guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. <laughs> the fuck? Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. But it could be much easier for you no, to. No, I'm D. He's dumb. Son of a bitch. I hit him because I thought I'd get the next option to... But whatever. Fuck it. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. With an open wound on the back of your head. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. <laughs> into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. See, I punched him because I thought I would then get the option to say, "No, you're fucking lying. The gun wasn't shot for over a week, dick weed." Well, whatever. I should have asked who is his boss, but he probably wouldn't have answered anyway. This episode is still going. I'm getting a handle on what's going on. Things just get more complicated. 
It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. That's an uncomfortable feeling. The pimp, maybe. Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. You find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. So... Thanks I for wish you. there was... Huh. Gonna get some of that booty? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Rain runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. And fix it. System. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Big Bad Wolf's going to eat you out tonight. <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. God knows I keep getting my ass kicked anyway. Is this episode still going? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, this is long as shit. The same goes for you. I will. Yeah, you pay that cab fee, by the way. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Seriously, this is probably the longest Telltales episode ever. An hour and 40 minutes. That's ridiculous. Uh, 
<laughs> Shit. After, after this episode, I want to take a break. As much as I want to keep playing. I'm a bit tired. The trip trap bar triple T. Motherfucker, that's a bunch of T's. Hey, I want some tea. I want my tea shirt. How about that tea, man? <laughs> what do you want, Sheriff? Huh, what a warm welcome. Official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Y'all are bullshitting me. Does he tell you when to close, too? No. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. So how about you, jackass? Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, sure you don't know him. How about I buy you a drink? Why don't you keep your drink? Piss off. Son of a whore. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. <laughs> that's a detect that's a, that's a mystery no detective will ever uh, figure out. Um Sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. Come on out, Woodsy. Hello, Woodsy. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it. I said no. He'll be back. Now here you are. <laughs> you and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. 
you're in luck. I decided to switch seats. <laughs> I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. No. Everyone knows you. Hey, bad news. No, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. There's not much to explain. It's no big secret. I needed money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. Doesn't look like it. She had money. That was sure of it. Yes, you don't have any kind of fight. It's a robber. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood, my grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. And I played along as long as I could. The only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I it swear. Doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead. Big, big listen. I, I'm a piece of shit. Okay, I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. He comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh boy, I got myself in a mess. Oh. Who the fuck? What fairy tale are you from? Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh shit. Oh god, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I chose the bad choice. I chose the bad choice. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you in your face! Or punch you in your face. Oh fuck. 
Okay. Okay, I'm alright. Damn it! Why does everyone keep beating the shit out of me? I'm tired of my job! Take this! Dick Lee! Oh, fuck me. Nothing. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Please, stop. <laughs> Why? Why, my beautiful face? Oh, son of a bitch, you are fucked, bro. I am turning into the bad wolf. The big bad wolf. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Boom, bitch! Break your fucking leg, fool! He's had enough. Could have torn your fucking arm off, you piece of shit, but I didn't. Learn your freaking lesson. You want some more, bitch? Whiskey. Doubled. Yeah, yeah, not not looking so scary now, are you, bitch? No, I was, but I gave my money the frickin' faith. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But it turns out, if you kill that girl, well, you know what that means. Bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Oh, hello there, D or Dumb or whoever the fuck. Now I can kick your ass. See, I don't think Woodsman did it. So I'm gonna go after him. That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, I didn't. I, 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 I'm pretty sure Woodsman didn't do it. I mean, he was drunk last night and whatever. He went to the bar. He was puking and shit. So I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making the right choices or the bad choices. Either fucking way, I'm making a choice. And we're going on two hours. Oh my fucking god. Is it over? Is it over? I can hear shit. But nothing's happening yet. Come on, load up. Thank you, but God, why can't you just say episode two already? Do anything stupid and I'll 
throw you down the witching well myself. Oh my god, dude, this episode's so fucking long. I mean, is this even still episode one? There's Beast. Who is it? Don't tell me it's Snow. You're fucking kidding me! Oh my god, it's fucking Snow White this time! Holy fuck! So who the fuck's been killing these people? I don't think a pimp would go out of his way to do some shit like that. Damn, that's quite the mystery. But well, I'm fucking exhausted, dude. Two hours. Ugh. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. We had something very special. your brother. Fuck you. Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. I will break your fucking Seriously. face, that's why. Oh, oh my. A serial killer. Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, the watchman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. You can't manage it. I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. What did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end. Holy shit. Okay, hopefully I can play some more later, but right now I'm taking a break and I grab something to eat and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see, player choices. This is the one that everyone pretty much goes with. You and 84.5% of the players went with Faith and gave Faith the money. You and 6.9% uh, of the players... Uh, uh, let the door slam in his face. Wow, I am really in the minority of that one. Um, where did you decide to go? You and 69% went to Toad. Okay. What happened to Prince Lawrence? You... You did not prevent Prince Lawrence's death. Was I able to? Who is your prime suspect? You and 22% of people pointed their fingers at the... At the, you know, the... the the pimp. Um, well, yeah. I mean, at the at the this point, it made sense. You know, I mean, why not? Who did you arrest? We all went out to Tweedledee because we kind of started to believe the woodsman, right? Join the discussion now. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for so much for the fucking. Yeah, whatever. Um, well, that that was that. So, I'll actually go to previous menu. All right, well, that was episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was long as shit. This, by far, is my longest video on YouTube ever. So, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time to episode four, episode two. That was freaking loud now, wasn't it? I mean, Jesus. We might as well make it.